Hey everyone, I'm Hayden, and here's the new games that came out on Game Pass this week. All of these are games that are cloud-enabled and playable on your phone. This week we have four newly added games, and two that are leaving soon. And that's it for the intro, let's get right into week 22 of what's new on Game Pass. First up, Remnant from the Ashes, a post-apocalyptic third-person shooter that incorporates some Soulsborne gameplay. While having a fairly monochrome atmosphere, the locations do well at distinguishing themselves and keeping things fresh. The world design is excellent, and the gameplay is punishing but satisfying. There's many ways this game randomizes its systems, like bosses and drops, to give it major replay value. Definitely recommend this one. Next up is the open world off-roading simulation game, SnowRunner. All of the locations that are available have just suffered different man-made and natural disasters that need fixing. Your job is to deliver supplies over the rough terrain and limit damage to your vehicle. The graphics are actually pretty great in this game, and with many different locations to play through you'll have plenty to look at. Spend money on new vehicles or upgrades to your current ones. And next, the catch, carp and course fishing. There's honestly not much to say about this game. It's a fishing game, so you'll either like it or you won't. The graphics are decent, but nothing too special. There's 35 species of fish throughout the game and a variety of baits for the different kinds of fish. If fishing is a hobby you enjoy in real life, this is probably worth checking out. Next is Secret Neighbor, the multiplayer spinoff of Hello Neighbor. This game released to mostly positive reviews. Six kids break into the neighbor's house, not knowing that the neighbor is actually amidst them in disguise. The atmosphere of the game is really appealing. The game is simultaneously cartoonish and a horror title. While not exactly my cup of tea, you should try it out. Every game could be a surprise favorite. And now the ones leaving. First up is Void Bastards. This game is gorgeous. It has an unmistakably comic book style. In my opinion, this game is worth trying out for the art style alone. The gameplay is really cool too though. Being a roguelike, you lose food, fuel, and ammunition on death, but you keep all mission progress and weapon upgrades. This won't be on Game Pass for much longer, so play it while you can. Lastly, Surviving Mars. This Elon Musk dream come true is a city building simulator set on Mars. This game is made to be a rougher kind of city building game, as you must manage supplies and the way you obtain your vital resources on a planet without any of the ones needed for survival. The graphics are pretty good, but Mars naturally isn't the prettiest place in the galaxy. Simulators are a pretty niche genre, but this is one of the most unique I've seen out there. But again, it's leaving really soon, so try it out before it's gone. That's all for this week. Let me know what you think about any of these down in the comments. How are you liking Game Pass? It seems like every week the value of the service gets better. Remember to like and subscribe for more videos like these. Lastly, check out our Twitter account for gameplay of the latest releases. But most importantly, remember to always stay one up.